So, hi everybody. Um, this is Dialogers 2019. Awesome. Hello and welcome to Nicosia Cyprus. Dialogers is the most important journalistic project of CAS Greece and Cyprus office. Since 2012 when we started, our aim has been to fight against prejudice and promote common understanding and cooperation among European peoples. This time, for the very first time, we have brought young journalists from Greece and Germany to Cyprus in order to explore the specific characteristics of this very special island. Do you believe in melting pots and do you believe... Not melting pots, as I said, you have flowers existing in one pot with different colors. Melting pot makes them another color. <laughs> There is no more this uh, strong German-Greek side and how to build uh, bridges between Germany and Greece. But right now we do common reporting but completely outside of the heart of Europe and the European institutions in Brussels where everything begins, let's say. But right now we are completely into the periphery. Of course it's going to be different because we're in a different place now, in a very interesting place, in a divided place. It's the first time that I got the opportunity to visit the occupied side of Nicosia. Here the conflict is surrounding us and that makes it very, very tense, but also very interesting. In a cultural way, uh, it's very complicated, so it's going to be different. Challenge accepted. <laughs> When you try to expand from Nicosia to increase your outreach and impact, you have to find people who are actually working locally there. You cannot go and say, I'm doing this for you. Syrians arriving in Cyprus, they have relatives or family members. In 2011, Cyprus didn't have any uh, applications uh, because of the war. I mean, the numbers, they were normal numbers of asylum seekers after the close uh, of the borders and the difficulty uh, to pass through Europe. They started to, the smugglers, put them to Cyprus. We are doing a research together about the role of the church here in Cyprus. We are writing a piece about the football associations. And we are collaborating on a topic related to art in Cyprus. Is there a fun fact about you? Your favorite hobby is uh, winter. <laughs> So my approach, my initial approach was to, let's say, try to find the solutions. Why could be Cyprus, what, why Cyprus uh, can be considered as a solution in the energy uh, topic. Now that's all from me. Thank you. Um, thank you all of you that uh, you did a great job. I mean, like for such a small uh, period of time, hard topics in an area that, um, like it's not German, it's not Greek. I think it was very, very, very interesting for everyone. And it was actually eye-opening because I don't think that anyone in this group knew the issue in that depth. And after all these meetings and the research that you basically did, 
I think you, you, you got very close to the roots of the issue. So I think everybody will leave the island being very wise, let's say, on the Cypriot issues. <laughs>